In this tutorial, we'll review how to create a new account in Salesforce and how to create a new contact on an account in Salesforce. So once you've logged in, be sure to navigate to the sales page. If your Salesforce didn't automatically open to the sales page, you can click here in the corner, type in sales, and click the sales app here. From here, we'll navigate to the accounts tab. And on the accounts tab, you can see all recently viewed accounts, all accounts, your accounts, or new accounts this week. So for this example, we're going to create a company called Example Company. And before we do that, we wanna make sure we search through the list to make sure it doesn't already exist so we can avoid making duplicates. Okay, so it doesn't exist in our system yet, so we'll create a new account for it. Account name will be example company. Say the phone number is 555. Website is example.com. And if this were a subsidiary of another company or account we already had in our system, you could indicate that here. The additional information, we want to be sure to fill this out. Say engineer for this example. Any other useful information you have about the company or account should go here. Any notes you think would be interesting to someone else looking at this account at a later time. So for the billing and shipping address, we actually are not going to fill these out. That's because companies have different locations and we don't want any mismatching of addresses to different locations or offices. So this is all filled out now and we'll save it. Great. So we have an entire new page dedicated just to this account. And on this page, you see all the information we input, the phone number, website, industry, type, and you'll also see all contacts or opportunities related to this account will go here. So let's go ahead and create a new account. I'm sorry, contact. We'll go to new. We'll create a new contact for Mr. John Doe. You can see the company account already populates here. For title, we'll say sales rep, just as an example. For the phone, be sure to input a specific phone number for this contact. You can see here that it automatically filled in the phone number from the account, but we wanna make sure we're doing one just specifically for this contact. So we'll do that as an example. For email, we'll say john at example.com. And reports to, if you knew who this person's manager was or their higher up, it would be useful to input that here, but it's not required. Okay, so for mailing address or other address, if you know the specific address for this contact, where their office is, which location they are, that would be good information input here, but again, not required. Any additional information would also be great to go here if we know one of their interests, interests is golf. We want to make sure that's in here so that people looking at that, this at any other time can also benefit from having this knowledge. Any other interests or description is really useful, so do as much as you can. Um, but this is the minimum amount we need to put it in our system. So we'll save that. And you can see the contact John Doe pops up on this accounts page. And go to John's page, see any opportunities related to him, any tasks that would be related to him, and all of his information here.